What's going on everyone? Just wrapped up my cardio for the day. It was right at an hour. So I started off with bike sprints. I did 30 seconds all out, resting for a minute and a half. I did eight rounds of that. And then I finished off on the elliptical for 40 minutes, just keeping my heart rate about 130. I don't know if you can see this or not. I am currently eight days away from my photo shoot in Portland and then I have two more photo shoots after I get back from Portland on that Saturday and then I am done. I can finally go into the off season to try to build as much muscle as possible. I've been cutting for I believe eight months now so it's been a very long time. We have special guests in the house. Peyton Shelby's sister is in town. She's been here for like two days and her friend Liz is in town as well. So they go back to San Antonio uh, with Shelby's mom to day now Peyton lives in North Carolina or South Carolina I'm not really sure but she goes back there on Thursday but she's been spending the last couple of days with us now I need to head back to the house to eat breakfast So after washing my car and taking a shower, now I am currently making my low carb, uh, high protein pancakes that I've been having basically every single morning. This is what I look forward to. Don't ask me how you make these pancakes because I just showed you in my last vlog. If you wanna check that out, just go back and watch my last vlog. I'll show you exactly the ingredients I use to make these things. They are absolutely amazing. And then I have, of course, the two pieces of turkey bacon and Gainer's gonna slurp his water right now when I'm vlogging. He did not want his water until I started vlogging. That's what he always does. So after doing a little work, now we are out and about. We're gonna go eat at one of my favorite places in the world, but I can't get the burger. You We're like gonna be salad, eating. Though. I like the salad, but it's not the same. Uh, I did not think I'd be going out to eat at All Star and not <laughs> before <laughs> getting off my diet. But we're gonna go in there. Uh, they're wanting to get some burgers. Peyton, her friend, and her mom is here now, so that's why we're out. Uh, so we're gonna go in there. They're gonna enjoy some burgers. I'm gonna enjoy a salad. Say hello to Brady. Brady. Enjoy some bagels. Bagels, bagels, and French fries. He'll eat some French fries. He <laughs> loves some French fries. You get your bagel, Brady. <laughs> so this is the delicious salad. I got the bison. What did you get, Shelby? Um, a salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks like a salad, all right. It's a salad That's I want to eat. not mine. <laughs> Brady's got his bagel. Peyton got a salad. Uh, a real one. <laughs> you did not get a salad. I did not get a salad. And then Liz <laughs> no salad. got a burger. Just a plain burger. So we just got done eating, now we're gonna head back to the house, relax for a little bit, and I'm gonna head to the gym. I don't know what y'all's plans are. All their plans have been is nothing but eat. Just going around eating. It has been torture for me. They've been going to Torchy's Tacos, they've been getting ice cream, they've been getting burgers, all kinds of different stuff. That's all they've been doing. That was the whole list. Oh, no, it's been more than that. We went down to San Antonio, oh, we they went down to a farmer's market and got like food and stuff. and it. Like it. Yeah, I would. It looked amazing. But now I'm going to head back to the house, relax for a bit, and then head to the gym. I'm going to be working some chest. Two hours later. Oh, man. All I feel like doing is just sitting down and relaxing. Peyton and her mom and her friend just left. They came back and stayed for about an hour. And now they're on their way back to San Antonio. Oh man, I don't know what the deal is. It's just this part of prep that I just feel exhausted all the time. And I've been going to bed around, I don't know, 10 or 11 o'clock, but then not actually falling asleep until like 1 or 2 a.m. and then waking up around 5.30 and stuff. I just can't sleep right now. If you've ever done a prep and dieted like I have, you know that I don't know what it is, insomnia. Is that what it's called? Insomnia? <laughs> insomnia. In insomnia? <laughs> Anyways, I can't sleep much, so all I feel like doing is just like napping and stuff. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit down, uh, rest for a little bit. Thanks, Shelby. Shelby's recording me. Uh, relax for a bit and then take my pre-workout and head to the gym. I was gonna do a physique update. I might do that after the gym. Right now, I'm too tired to actually flex and stuff. 
only like eight days, eight days, eight days. Well, I say eight days, eight days until I fly out to Portland. It's really like 11 days uh, because that's when I'm actually gonna be able to eat food. But eight days is when I fly out to start the photo shoots. And at that point, I'm already so close to it, so it won't be hard. Okay, finally about to head to the gym. I sat around for a good bit and then drank some black coffee, some cold brew, and now I'm about to take some more caffeine. Uh, the Vaporex 5 by Muscle Tech, and then get this workout taken care of. I am just feeling it today. I don't know why I'm so exhausted. I think it's because of those bike sprints I did this morning. Doing hit cardio and stuff takes so much out of you, and so for the rest of the day, I just feel exhausted. So I need to get to the gym to get this taken care of. I'm gonna be doing, I already told you, chest, but I'm also gonna be throwing in some triceps as well. <sighs> this prep. Cannot wait for this to be over. Can't wait to have energy again. Oh, and also check it out. My new camera came in just the other day. I think it was yesterday, actually. This is the new G7X Mark III. I've been waiting for this thing for years and it finally came out. I pre-ordered it. As you saw, I did it on my vlog. About to make this pre-order. Oh, I can't wait for this to be in the new camera. Shelby never gave me a direct answer, but I'm guessing it's totally fine and it came in yesterday. This is gonna make my life so much easier because I don't like toting this big camera around when I fly and travel. So this one is gonna be my go-to when traveling. Now, I'm still gonna be using this big one. I'm trying to find some good lighting here. Now, I'm still gonna be using this big camera when I do workouts and vlogging around the house because of course, you're not gonna beat the quality of my uh, GH5. Uh, but this one is gonna be so nice when traveling. So just to give you a little perspective of how big this camera is, let me show you. So this is what I'm vlogging on right now. I have the Rode VideoMic Pro on there and it's a pretty big DSLR camera. So it's you know kind of irritating traveling when you're on a plane and stuff. Uh, so it is pretty big. Now this one right here, the little one, you can actually hook up a mic to it, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be way better to have a mic on this thing because external mics on cameras make such a big difference, but they don't really make one that's small enough yet because this one would look ridiculous on this little camera. What's going on, everyone? Hope you're enjoying the video so far. I feel like I need a new intro to these uh, commentaries. I do the same thing every single time. But let's go ahead and jump straight into this uh, chest workout. We started off with incline bench press. Now, I did six sets total. So the rep range, the very first set was a set of 12 reps, and then I did four uh, sets of eight. So something really heavy for eight reps, and then I went back down in weight and on the last set did those 12 reps again and then did a double drop set on the last set, on the sixth set. After that went into flat bench press. I did five sets of these for around 10 to 12 reps. So this is the volume sets. This uh, gym that I go to right here, they only go up to 100 pound dumbbells. So I'm trying to go slow and controlled the whole time uh, because normally I could go up to like maybe the 120s for 10 to 12 reps. But because this gym doesn't have that heavy of dumbbells, I'm just going really slow and controlled throughout every single rep uh, to hit failure for those 12 reps. After that, went into a machine incline press. Now, a lot of gyms don't have this machine. This feels amazing because while you push, it kind of turns into a fly up at the top. And I really like this movement. So I did five sets of these for 12 to 15 reps, only resting for 45 seconds uh, between this press. Now the rest of the workout, I was resting for about a minute to uh, max a minute and a half. So not very long. And then went into uh, flat bench cable flies. I did uh, five sets of these for 12 to 15 reps and then when I hit failure on the flies I would go into cable presses and you'll see uh, that here in a second So what I'm doing is trying to squeeze throughout the whole range of motion What I love about cable flies is that it keeps tension throughout the whole range of motion A lot of the times when you use dumbbells and stuff it loses tension up at the top But with cables it keeps tension the whole time So if you have the opportunity to use cable flies 
uh, bring a bench over there and do this. A lot of the times the gym is packed so you're not able to, but if you can, do it. After that went into a superset, I did uh, chest dips. And what I mean by chest dips, I'm leaning forward as you can see. So I have my feet back, so I'm leaning forward as much as I can and I'm going to failure for around 10 to 12 reps. I did five sets of these. Super set with close grip bench push-ups. And I went for those five sets for around 12 to 15 reps or until failure. And what I'm trying to do uh, with the push-ups is when I go up, I'm squeezing as hard as I can up at the top. Uh, thinking about trying to bring my arms in and squeezing, and that's gonna engage your chest just a little bit more. Uh, I like doing it on the edge of a bench because I'm able to squeeze a little bit more and my hands are in a neutral grip. So if I was doing this on the floor, it would just be flat. So it feels different. So if you haven't ever done push-ups like this, give it a shot. It feels amazing. After that, went into triceps now. I did five sets of cable push-downs for around uh, 10 to 12 reps. I would have went heavier if I could, but I couldn't because uh, this cable apparatus only goes up to a certain amount of weight, and uh, I was hitting failure for like 12 reps. I was trying to get down uh, to about eight reps, but like I said, the weight wasn't heavy enough, so I did those five sets, and on the last set, did a double drop set. After that, went into dumbbell tricep extensions. I did five sets of these for around uh, 10 to 12 reps, and on the last set, did a double drop set. I was gonna do an easy bar uh, skull crusher, but the last workout I did for arms, I did that. And what I like about dumbbell extensions is that you're able to go down a little bit deeper into the stretch. Uh, with dumbbells because you know uh, a bar or an easy bar or whatever you're using is going to be hitting the bench or your head uh, but with dumbbells you can go right past your head so you're able to get just a little bit more of a stretch after that went into the last exercise and it was a cable rope push down I did five sets of these for 12 to 15 reps and on the last set you know we had to do a double drop set now what I'm trying to do here is go up stretch up at the top and then go down and try to pull that rope apart down at the bottom and then when I would hit failure I would keep the rope together and try to squeeze out a few more reps but guys that is the end of the workout if you want to try out this workout it'll be written down in the description box hope you enjoy the rest of the video thank you so much for watching So back home and taking my creatine by Muscle Tech, taking five grams, and Shelby was so kind in already cooking dinner. Most of the time I get back from the gym and I have to like cook chicken and vegetables and stuff for like a salad. Not tonight, I'm so happy. I guess because uh, she was able to do that because her sister is here to watch Brady and stuff and she was able to get work done. Uh, while they were here check it out all different vegetables we got brussels sprouts we got peppers we got squash and zucchini and then we have broccoli and that's her rice because i can't have carbs sad thing i can't even have like healthy carbs rice which is so sad and then air fried barbecue chicken amazing uh yeah workout was pretty good wasn't the best workout. Right now I'm not having great workouts because I'm so depleted, but that's just part of it. I got a lot to do tonight. We have to take out all our trash. This is something new to us having a home. We have to bring out the trash can out by the road and we've been getting a lot of shipments in, uh, like furniture and stuff. So we have boxes coming out our ears right here that we have to collapse and bring them out by the road tonight so they can come back and don't worry, those are gonna be recycled. We recycle now. Yes, we are good citizens, are good humans. I don't know what that would make us. We're green people, right, Shelby? Yes, we're <laughs> <laughs> Brady's going all over the place and he's after Gainer's bone right now. He goes after everything that we don't want him going after. It is crazy. So dinner is served. I put all the vegetables in a big salad. I got six ounces of chicken. Volume, volume, volume is the key when you're on a diet. So what typically is my high fat meal at night, I switch it around for lunchtime so that I could enjoy uh, going out to eat with uh, you know the family. So. Uh, this is gonna be like lower fat and of course uh, lower carbs just besides vegetable carbs But I'm gonna end the video here. I was gonna do a physique update, but I'm gonna do that in tomorrow's video uh, Because tomorrow is one week out, but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right guys. Peace 
Shelby's sister is in town with her friend. And I don't know why this camera's fogging up. Dadgummit. <laughs>